Welcome to our analog session of 15 minutes with diodes. My name is Matthew Clark and I am the FAE responsible for parts of Central and Eastern Europe. Today's topic will be the piezo sound driver applications for warning signals, specifically the PAM 8904. Our selected topics in the coming months will be featuring TVS diodes, specifically the quad flow through parts, timing design considerations, and in February we will aim to give you our first introduction to light on after the acquisition. As usual, the presentation will be a maximum of 15 minutes and will be recorded. Please note that we do provide links to the presentation over our various platforms such as LinkedIn, email, and our website. We have changed the means of distribution slightly and will start providing a link to our cloud drive where all the presentations can be viewed and downloaded. Another goal of this session is to help you engage more with our products. As a result, we want to encourage you to inform us of current or upcoming projects you're working on. We are looking for our ACE and will announce a monthly winner based on the submitted project. Anyone can make a submission as long as it pertains to today's topic. Our last month's ACE is Serdian Malincic. Winner winning an application for fire alarm systems using the AP63 family DC-DC converter. Please note that we don't necessarily select based on prestige or project volume, so all, any submission is valid. Of course, it is optional to share project details or your pictures, but in some cases it may be a great opportunity to promote yourself or your company. Having said that, let us move on to today's presentation. The sweet spot for the PAM 8904 is a piezoelectric sound driver for warning signal applications. The E version being most suitable for in-house or industrial applications, while the Q version can be used in automotive applications such as reverse signals, door signals, and seatbelt signals. Both versions have an internal boost driver to multiply the voltage up to 3x of the input voltage. Typically speaking, the higher the voltage, the louder the signal. The small QFN packages allow for an efficient design and the low standby power is useful for any battery driven application. Before getting into more detail regarding the PAM 8904, we need to understand the PZO electric speaker a bit. The speaker itself is made of materials that expand and contract as voltage is being applied. This causes the material to swing and produce sound waves as you can tell by the animation. The higher the voltage, the higher the amplitude, meaning louder. The advantage is that this can be done with a thin layer of materials and is one of the main selling points. The drawback of the piezoelectric speaker is a low dynamic range when wanting to mimic a voice for example. Of course I'm oversimplifying the topic, but this is why they are often used as buzzers, beepers and tweeters. And no, this has nothing to do with birds. Overall, the main application of the piezo sounder is in small areas as high frequency sounder. As a warning signal, these need to be audible and loud, ideal for the piezo. The loudness is given by the sound pressure level, or typically expressed as dB, or decibels. In simple terms, the lowest pressure level comes from faint sounds or whispering in micropascals. A rock concert, on the contrary, produces roughly 10 pascals of pressure. This translates to about 120 dB. Again, the piezo sounder must therefore produce a significant SPL. You don't necessarily need a fighter jet starting in your living room, but it should be significantly loud. So why would we even choose a piezo sound driver? Why are piezo speakers even relevant? For alarm signals, high frequencies are most desirable. They can be environmentally more robust. Piezo speakers are a capacitive load, not an inductive one, and they can have an extremely thin form factor. An electrodynamic speaker can cover a large range of frequencies, but this is not necessarily interesting for warning signals. Additionally, they have coil windings and magnets, which adds an additional design difficulty. Overall, our piezo driver follows the same design philosophy as the piezo speaker, small, efficient, and gets the job done. Functionally, the PAM 8904 is straightforward. The voltage input can be multiplied according to the selection table on the left. 
This allows for a 4.5 volt input to be multiplied to 13.5 volt, which effectively means a 27 volt peak to peak output. The D in pin reproduces the incoming frequency on the output and the low shutdown currents extend battery life by having an extremely low power dissipation. However, the designer must take note not to multiply a voltage level above 4.5 volts by 3. This may cause device failure and should be taken care of in the design stages. Also, even though the device implies a wide frequency range, it does not mean it is not meant to create complex voice patterns. Nonetheless, the simplicity of the circuit is great for a wide variety of applications, which is also why we deemed it specifically useful for warning signals. As suggested, the frequency input is copied on the output side. This allows for frequency adjustment on the fly, which can yield a multi-tone output. In the high frequency ranges, we have seen applications for ultrasonic warning signals. At the same time, this has also been used for portable consumer electronics. For example, as a finder tone for lost objects. This makes the PAM 8904 extremely versatile for any application from consumer electronics all the way to automotive. Between the standard and automotive versions, there are slight differences and relevant points, where the standard version is more desirable in a versatile application range, which we previously covered, larger peak to peak voltage, audible to ultrasonic frequency, um, low shutdown power, small packaging. The automotive version becomes more focused on the simplicity of design, low EMI, non-latching protection features, features, and the adjustable frequency input. Other technical considerations are safety considerations which need to, which need to be upheld in critical applications. Firstly, the device must be loud enough, so a dB level of 85 to 90 over 3 meters is sufficiently annoying for people to pay attention. Additionally, some of the known standards are listed, which we have already had experience with. We have not actively worked with the standard, but it shows the, that the versatility is easily transferred between markets and requirements. An additional comparison we can draw is between the IC and discrete solution. While using multiple discrete part may appear to add flexibility, it is an additional design effort that has to be made simply for a loud sound. The ease of use of the PAM 8904 adds a benefit here. The piezo speaker is added for the small form factor and robustness, and for similar reasons we will want to implement the PAM 8904 as well. It gets the job done. The example of our demo board shows that the driver takes up the smallest portion of the real estate. The demo board is also available. I would like to remind you again that you can send us your interesting projects. Of course, um, they are already in our system, but bring it to our attention and perhaps we will select you the next time. Last but not least, a careful reminder of the FAEs that are responsible for your region and whom to ask. If you have any questions pertaining to today's presentations, feel free to use our 15 minutes at eu.dialogues.com address. Once again, you will find more information on the web for the PAM 8904, including the datasheet, evaluation board guide, and more. We kindly thank you for your attention and hope to see you in our coming sessions. That's all, folks.